Today in this video, we're gonna go over the background of what is a daily standup, some practical use cases that I am gonna show and showcase it within Jira. And also I'm gonna tell you top tips and tricks to run a successful daily standups and things you should look for. So you can be the greatest of all time with your daily standups. Imagine kickstarting your day with a brief yet effective meeting that sets the pace for your entire team. Welcome to the world of daily standups in Scrum. A daily standup, also known as a daily Scrum, is a quick time boxed meeting that generally lasts no more than 15 minutes. It's like a huddle where the entire team comes together to sync up and plan the day. In this meeting, each team member shares three key pieces of information what they accomplished yesterday, what they aim to achieve today, and any roadblocks or challenges they might be facing. It's a brilliant communication tool that keeps everyone on the same page and promotes transparency. The beauty of the daily standup is in its simplicity and efficiency. It's not about lengthy discussions or problem solving. It's about fast paced, focused communication that keeps the team aligned and the project moving forward. So the daily standup is like the morning coffee for your project. It wakes everyone up to their responsibilities and challenges for the day. Now that we know what a daily standup is, let's delve deeper into how it works. A daily standup, true to its name, is a brief meeting that typically lasts for about 15 minutes. Team members usually stand to keep the meeting short and focused, hence the name standup. During this meeting, each team member answers three key questions. What did I accomplish yesterday? What will I work on today? Are there any obstacles in my way? These questions help keep everyone on the same page and identify any potential roadblocks early on. It's vital to keep this meeting concise and to the point. Long drawn out discussions can be a drain on productivity and defeat the purpose of a standup. If a topic requires a more in-depth discussion, it's best to take it offline and not let it hijack the standup. Remember, the goal is not to solve problems during the standup but to identify them and plan to address them later. So you might wonder, why is this daily standup so crucial for a team's success? I wanna thank everybody for making it this far in the video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like this video, continues more content going forward. Now, let's get back into the topic. Think of it like this. The daily standup is the pulse check of your team. It's the time when everyone gets on the same page, aligns their efforts, and gets a clear view of the project landscape. It's like a, a morning coffee chat, but with a focused agenda. First off, it significantly improves team communication. It's a platform where everyone has a voice and ideas can flow freely. This not only fosters a sense of unity, but also ensures that everyone is looped in on the team's progress and challenges. Secondly, it helps in early identification of obstacles. If someone hits a roadblock, it comes up in the standup and the team can rally around to find a solution. This way, issues are addressed quickly, preventing them from snowballing into bigger problems. Lastly, it provides better visibility of the project. With everyone sharing their updates, the team gets a panoramic view of the project status. It aids in understanding how individual tasks roll up into the bigger picture and keeps everyone aware of the project's trajectory. In a nutshell, daily standups are like the heartbeat of an agile team. They keep everyone in sync and the project on track. Before we wrap up, here's a quick recap of what we've covered today. The daily standup is a crucial part of agile methodology, providing a platform for team members to communicate, collaborate, and strategize. The process is simple yet effective, with each member sharing their progress, plans, and any potential impediments. This not only fosters transparency, but also helps in early identification and resolution of issues. Remember, the importance of daily standups cannot be overstated. They are vital for driving team success, improving efficiency, and promoting a culture of continuous learning. So the next time you're in a daily standup, remember it's more than just a meeting. It's your team's stepping stone to success. Now let's talk about where the theory hits practice. So I'm gonna showcase some of the top points 
and checklist items you should do in your daily setup to mix it up a little bit. It, this meeting tends to be very repetitive and sometimes the team goes to the motions. What did we do yesterday? What did we do today? And any blockers, right? So these are some maybe next level advanced techniques I would use within your teams to spice it up a little bit. So first of all, I always show my screen, the board that I'm using within Jira on daily setup, whether it's me or a teammate, very important to making sure you can visualize the work and where it's at. So you can see here's my sprints. We're doing scrum and here's my sprint. And you can see the progress of each one. So when you're in this meeting, I think the first point here is that you share your screen, but I wanna make sure that I emphasize it doesn't always have to be the Scrum Master. It actually should change through different teammates. So I would give the opportunity for teammates to actually change and take ownership of this maybe for a week, just to make sure if that one person's missing, other people feel comfortable doing it as well. So practice makes perfect in this. So it's very important to continue. Otherwise, sometimes the daily stand-up gets stalled if someone's joining late and it's only 15 minutes. So you run out of time really quickly to really figure out the value of, is there anything blocking from what we committed to this sprint? Another item I like to use is round robining. So if you've ever heard this technique before, how this works is I hand it off to one team member and they hand it off to another team member. And it goes through that until you finish everybody. So you can see this EM, uh, Emily is this person on this ticket, I'll give it to Emily. And Emily will get to choose who it goes to next. So it might be Joe Schmo, it might be myself, right? Until it gets to the very end. This also helps with, you know, making sure people are present, right? You have to understand who has in the past to know who to pick in the future. So it's really important. I think it's a good technique. I use it all the time. I think you can add value to your team by using that technique as a technique as well. One thing, another item here that I check is movement in tickets. So if these are stuck in in progress, for maybe two to three days and I'm expecting you know some kind of comments or some something else on it movement so maybe some commits or pull requests and nothing's happening this is where to ask questions so instead of what did you do yesterday what did you do today hey what's going on with as-16 what's going on why is it I haven't seen any PRs or I haven't seen any commits what's going on with this ticket is there something that I can help out with so that's how I would rephrase it just looking at the things that are not changing that I mean movement and tickets throughout this process really important also think that the timing, another point here for your checklist, I think is really important, is I hold usually my daily standups Monday through Thursday, meaning I don't have it on the last day of the week. So if your last day of the week is a Friday or a Monday, whatever it might be, I would actually not do that. And I would have it maybe Monday through Thursday and then have an offline Friday. Because a lot of times people take out, people are doing flexing their schedule because of appointments or things like that. And so it gives you flexibility where you can have the team have their status on some kind of MS Teams or Slack channel and still get the value of that, but also making sure giving some flexibility with your team to get back some time to maybe even work on some of the items in uh, the sprint as well. The daily standup, so another point here, going to back, back to the daily standup on the same day as a, as a demo. So I'm assuming you're doing some kind of scrum here and you're demoing to stakeholders at the end of the sprint. And another technique here is the daily standup of the demo is used to prepare for that demo. Usually you don't ask about what the progress of this ticket or what's the status because it's, the sprint's pretty much over, right? So you, what I would use is use that as a preparation to making sure your, your team is prepared internally before going out to external stakeholders. So another good point, another tip and trick that I would use in your daily standup. And then powerful questions, really important again, that is to making sure that things are moving across, asking the right questions, not asking the same questions every day. This also might be important for following up on topics that maybe yesterday the team brought up, right? Things that, are, did this get done from what we talked about yesterday? So things like that can be asked as well. One thing I didn't mention, I know is probably in the first thing of everybody's checklist they get from every type of framework is the time box, right? 15 minutes, really important here as well, second 15 minutes. So in order to do that though, sometimes discussions get more technical or deep dive than it needs to be in, in this meeting. So if you have enough time to have a discussion in the 15 minute time box, go ahead and do it. But usually if those discussions keep on continuing going longer and longer, what happens is you have to spend more than 15 minutes. And when you have, you know, five, six people in that meeting, you might not need everybody in that meeting. So the last tip and big tip and trick for the daily standup as a scrum master or a leader is to actually pause that discussion. Hey, sorry, sorry, Emily and Joe Schmo. I understand this is an important topic, Let's actually table that to after daily stand up discussion or a parking lot, some people have seen before, and making sure that the rest of us can go through and communicate and they can get out and get back to their, their what they need to do or accomplish a sprint. So important parking lot discussions to keep that into 15 minutes, only hold the people that you need to, because it adds up, right? Fifth, an extra five minutes from five people, that's 25 extra minutes, right? So you can think of it that way. 
So those are the top items I would say in my daily stand-up checklist. And you know what? I actually captured them here on one page. You can take a look at it as well. So remember, recapping today from our daily stand-up checklist is share a screen. Remember, it doesn't have to be the Scrum Master. Round Robin for passing that off usually works as well as far as who's gonna actually, the order of the daily setup, and also think about who can present the, the, their screen on the Jira board you're using to visualize it as well. You can round robin that as well. Going back, using the round robin method helps people pay attention, helps people be present, right? To making sure they know who has gone and who needs to go still. Monday through Thursday, and I hold it only, I don't hold my daily setup in the last week. An offline version is perfectly fine. The, the daily sign up for the same day of the demo, I usually use preparation for this, for the demo. So keep in mind, remember repurposing the daily sign up for maybe a different reason that's more impactful for your stakeholders. Use powerful questions, right? Happened yesterday, what happened today? What a blocker, people are asleep, right? So use powerful questions and set up the same questions every day. Remember time box, 15 minutes. But how do we achieve this? We have to take parking lot, we have to take discussions after daily sign up with a smaller group. So I hope this all help you. If you want access to this checklist, please make sure you contact me and subscribe to, the, to my channel below. Give you access, make your team a high-performing team.